In this video, we're taking a look at how you can reduce your fuel consumption and discussing 10 strategies that will allow you to do just that. At number one, one of the most unpopular strategies for short journeys where the engine doesn't have time to warm up is to walk, cycle, or just use the bus. The second thing to avoid is keeping our engines at idle. This brings bad fuel economy and in theory is bad also for the environment. Now we're getting serious about fuel economy and anything that brings weight to your vehicle and isn't essential must go. Yes, it is time to get rid of your hammer. Yes, it is time to get rid of the breaker bar that you wanted to use in traffic when someone upset you. You might need to get rid of that piece of metal that didn't serve any purpose. I don't want to say anything about toolboxes, headlights, they all need to go. For number four, we need to mention tire pressure. Tire pressure influences the rolling resistance and that has an impact on our fuel economy. So make sure that you're running the adequate pressure for your vehicle. We have discussed short journeys, we have discussed idling, weight, tire pressure, six more strategies to go. I am so going to regret getting in the car with the shoes like this. At number five, we're discussing driving style, especially aggressive driving. If our focus is better fuel economy, we should avoid excessive braking, we should avoid excessive acceleration, we should predict and use the traffic for our advantage, we should definitely avoid racing other people at the stoplights, and keeping those things in mind will bring us better fuel economy. <clears throat> Number six is next, the elephant in the room, and that is speed limits. At number six we're discussing speed limits when it comes to best fuel economy. The common consensus in the automotive world is that between 60 and 70 miles per hour is ideal. Over 70 miles per hour our fuel consumption increases and should be avoided. Also the common consensus is that the use of cruise control helps us achieve the best figures that we can achieve with our vehicles. At number seven we're taking a look at limiting the use of accessories Things like air conditioning, heated seats, interior ventilation, interior heating, sat navs, additional chargers. All of them require energy to generate the power. All of them will impact our fuel usage. So for best fuel economy, we should use these accessories only when needed. At number eight, we're taking a look at vehicle maintenance. We need to make sure that all the surface servicing is done on time and our vehicle is able to work without any faults ensuring best efficiency. At number nine we are discussing gear selection especially on manual cars we should be using the highest gear available that allows us to drive at our desired speed. On automatic gearboxes this strategy has been already implemented by the manufacturer in the software of the gearbox. The final piece of our puzzle will be tire size and tire selection. When we are considering fuel economy as our priority, we should avoid tires big like these and compounds that are designed for performance and instead we should be looking at something more sensible, something that is lighter weight, smaller in size and also it's using a product, a tire that is designed for fuel economy. This being said, let's see what we remember. At number one, we should avoid going on short journeys where the engine doesn't have time to warm up. At number two, we stop idling our engines when it is not needed. At number three, we start a diet, we start reducing weight, we start getting rid of the things that are not essential to our vehicle. At number four, we go to the basics and we ensure that we have the right pressure in our wheels. At number five, we're becoming boring drivers and stopping racing at the stoplights. At number six, we're considering speed limits. So 60, 70 miles per hour should be more than enough. At number seven, we're taking a look at the use of accessories. So the air conditioning, the heated seats and other accessories when they are not needed shouldn't be used. At number eight, we ensure that our vehicle is getting the correct maintenance and that it is working properly. At number nine, we look at gear selection 
and we will be wanting to go on the highest gear that is allowing us to use the speed that we want to achieve and at number 10 we're looking at smaller wheels with tires that are designed for fuel economy these strategies being implemented should be allowing us to visit the petrol station less and less and maybe we will have more money to invest in modifying our cars i say invest ah, you can also name it as spend on modifying the cars i hope that this video was useful and i shall be seeing you in the next one